You want to ride across the lake? Do you see for the what? Yeah, let's ride across, man. It's frozen. It's safe. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Goat TV. I hope everybody had a uh, Merry Christmas and a uh, Happy New Year. Um, it is, uh, it's January the 2nd today, and it's about uh, 29 degrees out in my garage. And the reason why I'm in my garage is because I wanted to uh, upgrade the uh, phone holder on my, on my mountain bike. And uh, I'm going riding uh, tomorrow, and it's supposed to be frigid cold uh, in the 20s, but um, it's dry, and uh, I want to try to get some more riding in before I can't get any more riding in. So my phone holder came in today. It was supposed to come in tomorrow, and I didn't think I was going to be able to do this video, but it's going to work out perfectly because now I could do my uh, um, box opening, and then I could do my uh, demonstration when I ride tomorrow and make sure it holds up pretty well. So I ordered it from Amazon, and it's called the... Uh, let me show you what it is. It's the uh, Tiakia. Tiakia phone holder. Uh, it's a versatile phone holder. It's supposed to spin uh, 360 degrees. And um, it's made out of metal. There's no plastic on this thing. So let's open it up and kind of like take a look at it. So it comes with this rubber thing. It looks like uh, it's like a, the, the safety rubber that goes around your phone to hold it into place. And the actual phone holder, which is all, looks like some machined aluminum. It looks like it's really, really well made. Um, wow, it's really impressive. And it's got a large uh, opening area, large mouth area. So if you have a phone case um, that's on a little bit on the larger side, that should fit in there, which I do. And then it comes with all of the tools and everything to put it together. So we're going to assemble this on and we're going to fit my phone on it and uh, we'll see how it works out. So the cool thing about this, it came with um, it came with all the parts and components that I need to assemble this. And um, it's got this, uh, this, this these plastic insets that kind of go into the... Um, into the holder uh, to probably give it a, a nice snug fit and to prevent you from actually scratching your handlebars. Not that I really care because my handlebars are a little scratched up as it is. So um, it looks like I can put in, put these together anyway. Okay, so they kind of like just snap right in, which is nice. So you can kind of see how it works like that. It's a little dark in here. Uh, the lighting in here really sucks, but we're going to make the best of it. And then um, you got the other piece, the actual phone holding part. And it also has a uh, little rubber piece that kind of slips in here. We're just about... Got it nice and snug. So you know I'll be bringing these Allen keys on the trail with me tomorrow just in case it loosens up. And uh, actually these are a nice little end, end of the bolt cover up so you don't uh, scrape your hands or arms against it and cause some damage. Now one thing I really liked about the way this is, it this thing locks and it moves freely. So let's say I crash and, you know, I go the handlebars over the bars and this thing holding flips over. This thing will go to one side. That's beautiful. Let's get my phone. <clears throat> 
so one of the one of the downfalls of this case is not that it's a downfall but when you already have a semi thick case on it you got they they're putting these rubber these rubber um little cushions in here and the problem what i was having was when i put my phone in um it wasn't seating right because this was making the case a little bit too high to fit into these um indentations here so i'm just yanking these off and i just took them all off left them flush and now when i put my case in it sits in there nice and flush the way it's supposed to be and it's tight it up here so it sits nice and flush and before I even put the rubber on you know, it's, it's a little, little demonstration uh, I'm not gonna ride without without the rubber safety um, without the rubber safety a doohickey but it's holding pretty good and if I put the rubbers on you're gonna put the rubber on for protection um, and that's gonna make it even better I feel safe with that um, I like this part I want to Turn it 360 degrees, which is nice. Look at that. Let's get a better look at that. That's sweet. So now if I were to crash and I hit, that would just that would just turn. Which is which is a really nice feature because if that was uh if that was tight. And I smacked against the rock or anything with that that would definitely break my phone but now if I hit something it's just gonna turn it in perfect all right we'll see how we make out tomorrow we got some frost on the cars today let's see what the temperature is gonna be like Google what's the weather today There'll be snow with brief sleet there today, with a forecasted high of 37 and a low of 31. Currently, it's 31 degrees and partly cloudy. Say hi to, say hi to YouTube. Hello. That'll be on YouTube. Good morning, everybody. Like we can't even see out the windows. It's so foggy out, icy. Ready to ride today, man? Yeah. Got the new phone holder on, see? New phone holder. And yeah, we're gonna hit the trail. Yeah, that's cold today. Oh yeah. Frozen. Everything's frozen. First day riding in probably four weeks.
so far the phone case or the phone hole is working out pretty good nothing crazy yet though That was close. <laughs> nice Jersey Rocky trails. Starting snow. <clears throat> Starting to come down. It's gonna be a nice little snowy, snowy downhill. Hey Alex, nice snowy day. Nice, nice for a white. Wow. Uh, this is why we go out in 30 degree weather with good friends and enjoy nature that's holding up pretty good so far <laughs> that's what it's all about hold on my google is talking shut up 2020 that's the best ride it's the best ride today right yeah. best ride of the year out in the snow. All right, Alex, ready to do this or what, man? We're gonna we're gonna head that way, and we came up from that way, and it's snowing like crazy. And my bike is covered. It's the first time this baby saw snow. You want to go first? Yeah. Oh man, it's slippery. Holy sh**. <laughs> you give a... You record that? You make a video of that? We gotta go down it. You ready? Yeah. Let's go, buddy. You can actually feel the tire just just give. Huh. Yeah, baby. Brakes are squeaking like crazy, but as long as they keep working. Oh, yeah. Nice little, little, little drop.
You good? Yeah. <laughs> you see, did the water this one before? Because it's always dry. Yeah. We had rain for a couple of days. Wow. <sighs> you scary? I'm good. You look scared. Why? You look white. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah, let's go. It's all wet leaves with snow on it. Whoa! Almost lost it on a hidden rock. Oh. Wow, this is crazy. I tell you, I'm surprised my tires are really holding up good to the snow. I'll put a link to those down below because Coming in at one downhill, I was actually pretty, pretty nervous because uh, generally on wet leaves, my bike had a tough time gripping the trails. But it, it kind of held up pretty good going in at a little downhill with the snow. Go to the right. right. Yeah. All right, so as you guys can see, my phone made it up the mountain and down the mountain uh, with no with no issues, and uh, it held up pretty good. So the only thing you guys have to do is you have a phone case on it. You're gonna have to remove the rubber, the rubber shock absorber that are on the bottom of this, which I'll show you right now. You got a rubber shock absorber that go here. You just gotta pull them off, and way you can put your phone in with the phone case on it. So that concludes my uh, my review on the uh, Tiakia uh, phone holder for your bike and uh please uh like share and subscribe to the video appreciate you guys enjoying and uh, we'll see you on the rebound over and out